We do it every day. We go to the faucet, turn it on, fill up your cup, and take a drink of that water. But you may not know that a lot goes into keeping our drinking water safe. For the first time, the EPA is setting a limit for PFAS in our tap water. Short for per and polyfluoroalkyl substances, PFAS are known as forever chemicals because they don't break down and they're linked to health risks like cancer. They're used in products we all have, like nonstick cookware and waterproof clothing, and across the country, they're showing up in the water. We are exposed to this stuff everywhere. It's not just our drinking water. Kenton Jones works at MultiPure, a local manufacturer of carbon-based water filters that remove contaminants such as arsenic, lead, and PFAS. The message to me as kind of a layman was always, this is really dangerous, this is really scary, if even these minute amounts are what we're concerned about with causing health effects in humans. And so that was kind of a wake-up call to me. The new limit is four parts per trillion. Keep in mind, one part per trillion is basically a drop in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. And the new rule only impacts six types of PFAS, while thousands exist. But here's some comforting news. The Southern Nevada Water Authority says they've been testing the water for PFAS for over a decade. This gives us a very long runway to be able to make sure we understand the research and we understand the issue, and then we can be well prepared to mitigate that issue if and when it becomes necessary. With over 300,000 tests each year, PFAS are either undetectable or lower than the new standard in our valley's drinking water. The work that we've already done indicates to us that we are already meeting that standard. For other water providers in Nevada, there's time to meet compliance. The water systems have three years to complete their initial monitoring. If they have detections above the, the new standards, they will have an additional two years to install treatment or find some sort of alternative source of water before they're actually in violation of the standards. To learn more about PFAS, head to our website, ktnv.com. We'll link you to the annual water quality report and some tips that you can do to mitigate these chemicals in your home. Reporting in Las Vegas, I'm Geneva Zoltek.